One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's the Crypto Commandments. What? Yeah. I done learned a lot about the blockchain, Bitcoin, from my hustle and cats. Shout out to my dogs on Wall Street. I ain't forget about y'all. Yeah. Uh-huh. Bets with 10x dreams. in this game for years it made me a lot of dough there's rules to this shit i wrote me a manual a step-by-step booklet for you to get your game on track not your way push back rule number uno never let no one know how much gold you hold cause you know your wallet key secrecy privacy specially irs piracy fucked up share stuff up never let them know your next move don't you know all coins move in silence on side exchanges i'm a rebel on the side of amazing i done squeeze juice from bricks and chips from rocks number three never trust nobody your mom set that ass up properly gassed up now everyone's masked up lazy for fast bucks they be laying in the bushes to write your past code number four i know you heard this before never sell it all when it's high from your own supply number five never sell stacks where you rest at i don't care if they want to go down still a bounce six a damn credit forget it then robin hood's paying you back shit forget it number seven this rule is so underrated they teach your family Lead the business and keep them educated, huh? Money and love don't mix like two bits with keys missed. Find yourself seriously pissed. Number eight, never keep pics of your passcode on your phone. Now get hacked like an asshole. Now should have been number one to me. If you get in that bag, stay the fuck out the banks with trillions invested. Unless an EMP hit, or we all get arrested. Ten, a strong word called sovereign, strictly for live men with a VPN. If you got integrity, you'll say let's go. But you don't want your money, brain, sleep, hell slow. Follow these rules, you'll have mad bread to break up. If not, you'll be like everyone else when you wake up. What up, vigilantes? Are you guys just here to make money? Is that the reason why you guys are into crypto? I hope it's not. I hope that you guys are here because you realize that the reason why these technologies were created and are being created is to stop and end tyranny worldwide. Now, many of you might be, well, Raph, crypto is not the only answer. Well, crypto is a huge answer because without the printing press of the central banks, there is no way for them to fund their tyranny. And honestly, I think that the reason, and I've been saying this a lot, that the reason why tyranny has ramped up throughout the planet is because of us. I think they're scared of us. I think they realize that we left the plantation a long time ago. And I think the powers that shouldn't be are scared of what we have in Bitcoin, what we have in crypto. And that's why they are implementing all the tyranny that we see all around us. So, guys, it's game time. Are you going to get with it? Or are you going to just look the other way? I was talking to a very dear friend of mine, very early Bitcoiner. And um, I'm not going to dox him because I didn't ask him for permission to talk about his perspective. But let's just say this guy is extremely influential in the world of Bitcoin BTC. And it was a very beautiful conversation because, as you guys well know, I am of the opinion that Bitcoin in its original design 
big block Bitcoin, if you want to call it, is the way to not just take out the central banks, but also the manipulators of innovation and big tech. So this beautiful conversation, you know, where we, we kind of acknowledge that, you know, we're still brethren in Satoshi and no matter what happens in Bitcoin, guys, Bitcoin will live on forever. No matter what happens in Bitcoin, the SHA-256 coin will live on forever. There is no way to stop our Bitcoin miners and any network that aims at, mon at helping the miners monetize is a network that is a possible future for miners to monetize. But I'm not going to get into that right now because that's not the topic of this conversation. I want to let you guys know that no matter how Bitcoin mutated over the years, and no matter how we've made of splintered off into different communities like Monero, you know, and now we have Pirate Chain and Ethereum, no matter what, the foundation of crypto is based on libertarianism. We understand the banking cartel. We understand the monopoly of violence that are governments. We understand history and we know the game plan. We read their shit. They literally tell us what they're going to do. Just read Lockstep from the Rockefeller Foundation. If you want to go in that direction, if you want to talk, talk about contemporary times. So, yeah, it's out in the open. We always knew what was at hand. And Bitcoin is here and was created to give the world an alternative. And not just any alternative. It's the fact that Bitcoin and crypto in general provides everyone on the planet what communists and fascists hate most and you want to know what that is it's called competition competition is here to stay forever whether these technocrats like it or not so it's here to stay forever and we're very very close to hyper bitcoinization so there's a lot of bitcoiners right now a lot of bitcoin ogs talking to heads of states so it's not just going to be El Salvador, guys. It's going to be a lot more countries coming in and the tyranny is going to ramp up and we need to step up our game. Everyone in crypto needs to step up their game and they need to realize that there are priorities in all of this. Priority number one, we need to ensure hyper Bitcoinization. Sure, BTC has the advantage. What does that mean? That means that BTC is in the position to cause the most disruption. But does that mean that BTC is inherently better? And y'all know the answer to my question to that, right? Because there are various different options that we have, right? We have extreme privacy, which is like Monero and pirate chain, extreme privacy, which ensures your safety. It's our defensive, these are our defensive, uh, defensive tools, right? Our privacy tools, right? And then we have tools of innovation, tools of extreme capitalism. And we've seen this with what Ethereum has been trying to do. And now we see it with what Bitcoin SV is doing, right? So we need to, we need to step up our game and stop this BS, this nonsense of thinking that this is politics. It's not, guys. And, and rest assured that there are a lot of financial interests. Actually, the fucking interest of the establishment is against us. Do you understand what the fuck that means? That means that if you think that we're going to have it easy in reaching hyper-Bitcoinization... 
a term dubbed by my buddy Daniel Krawitz. If we're gonna reach hyper Bitcoinization, we need to start dialoguing with each other. We need to start being so partial to our own crypto network. One of the most amazing things happened in crypto recently, guys, and that's the atomic swaps between Monero and BTC. There are also atomic swaps now with um, BTC and other blockchains, of course. But, the, but what we need to do is, is realize that we are more in a symbiotic relationship with one another than we think. And so whether you are a BTC maximalist or not, you need to realize that our first goal is to ensure hyper Bitcoinization. Look, sometimes being the leader has its advantages, but it also has disadvantages, right? So yeah, BTC is out there, you know, leading the pack. Does that mean that the other networks are not worth their while? No, not at all. It just means that that's how things have shooken up. And I have my reasons and my theories for uh, in understanding and my research in understanding for why things shook up the way they did. And I, I, I see, you know, I'm moving away from this, this, this judgmental stance because we literally were at war with one another, you know, us Bitcoiners. And, but that's because we love what we, we love Bitcoin. That's why we love, that's why we went into war because we, we literally love Bitcoin and we all had our own opinion as to how to best scale Bitcoin. Okay, well, the beautiful thing is, is that Bitcoin is mutating in all of these directions where small blockers and big blockers both are creating and innovating so that Bitcoin miners are assured success in the future. So yeah, in my opinion, Bitcoin mining is gonna be a huge industry, an industry that cannot be stopped, an industry that's gonna change and shape the planet and eventually even change government and politics forever. But it's game time, guys. And we're stepping up our game at the Crypto Vigilante as well. We know that we have a lot of beautiful, beautiful things to, to, to teach you guys. So next month, we're going to give you guys, we're going to start the first of many free online virtual conferences. Because, yeah, guys, we need, to, we need to step up our game in all regards. And we want to make sure that big, the message of Bitcoin and the message of crypto reaches the world as much as, as fast as possible. And as I'm talking to you guys, I'm actually very much considering doing a TCV conference in Spanish now. You know what? Let's do it. I'm doing it. We have a rock star list of crypto geniuses that will be coming on with us explaining what they think is more important in all of crypto. And it's important to have these conversations because the powers that shouldn't be have succeeded in dividing us for long enough but we're not going to allow that anymore at the crypto vigilante we're going to make sure that from now on we're all talking to each other you years you miss rich fears kept you bitch and waiting now you hate it because it passed one coin i caused a million plus gas your girl left you for a fella who was good at math oh she cooked a vegan steak while shaking the dance yo love hits your temple watch your shame break up gotta go gotta go got crypto to hado yeah yeah watch the numbers rise uh. Going and going and going and going and going and going and going.